2024 will be, at least in some ways, a very curious year. So says my colleague Edgar B. Herwick III, the guy behind GBH's Curiosity Desk, who joins us now with some of the oddities already piquing his interest. So 2024, what Lots we of got? stuff going on in 2024. Okay. I mean, we'll, we'll tick off a few just for starters. Okay. One being that it's a leap year, which is, That's you know, right. it only happens once every four years because right. we're not quite 365 to get around. There's a little extra, so we got to adjust our calendar. Okay. Uh, to the 100th anniversary of the introduction of iodized salt. Yeah, so that's, that's been 100 years. More important than Defeating a lot of goiter 100 yeah. years ago in Michigan and then in the rest of the United States. And yep. King Charles III, his face is going to be on the banknotes coming uh, into circulation in the UK. Oh, that is important. So that's kind of, Thank you know, you these are all very sort of curious things. But there's two in particular that I have here that I think really are standout moments. And I thought we could play a little guessing game, see if you can guess these two items okay. that are going to be happening in 2024 that I think make it extra curious. Okay. okay. So the first one, first one here. This is, uh, see if you can tell what I'm talking about here. Okay. So this is, uh, there are about 2,000 species of this particular creature out there in the world. In the U.S., we organize our species into broods. Now, broods. Okay, wait, 12 I'm of these you. broods okay. are associated with the number 17. Okay. Three of these broods are associated with the number 13. What is this creature I am talking about? All right. Well, I'm going to horrify any, like, sixth-grade teacher, seventh-grade teacher out there because I'm thinking broods. I know, like, gaggle of geese, pride mm, of lions, mm. brood. Think bugs. Bugs in a brood. Every 17 years. Bugs. Locusts. Cicadas. That would be what? it. Cicadas, right. which sometimes are called locusts. All so right. why is 2024 an important year for cicadas? Well, there's something really interesting happening, which is think about 17-year broods, 13-year broods. They're not on the same cycle. But every once in a while, every 221 years, the 13 years and the 17 years emerge in the same year. So that's going to happen in 2024 in the summertime. Now, what's interesting, if we check out this map here, right, the way these broods work is they don't hatch all over the country at the same time. So it's specific locations. And what makes this co-emergence special, besides the fact that it's only happening once every 221 years, is the fact that these two spots where these broods are emerging are adjacent to each other, which means in one very specific spot, if you're in, say, in and around Illinois, you will be able to see the 13-year cicadas and the 17-year cicadas all at the same time. It, which this is, is going to be a noisy year. It's going to be a very, yeah. very noisy year, yeah. And also, what's, what's interesting here is for scientists, this is a, a very unique uh, experience because... This is a co-emergence, and it's happening in a spot where you're going to have all of these species at the same time. It's a natural experiment, which doesn't happen that often. And so scientists like John Cooley, who's a professor at the University of Connecticut that I spoke with, he's like over the moon about this. He's like, we're going to be able to see, or will they interbreed? What's going to happen? We don't really know. And as you can imagine, it's a little bit of a long-term experiment to sort of see how it all sort of plays out. But it's, it's a big deal for scientists. And that's a fun creature for for a lot of people. Yeah. Lot of people are fans. And of course, here in Massachusetts, uh, we will not see cicadas this year, but we do have a brood, a very small brood, which hatches every 17 years out on the Cape and the South Shore. Next year, 2025, will be that brood's emergence. And broods are just for cicadas, or I should know this, broods are for insects in general. I think in this case, it's just how, it's the way we classify cicadas, specifically periodical cicadas, because there, of course, are breeds of cicada that kind of come out every summer. Uh, but the periodical cicadas, we've decided to classify them into broods to be able to talk about these very specific populations. Wow. When I woke up this morning, I did not you expect... You didn't think we were going to be talking about this, did you? I was going to hear the phrase periodical cicadas. Well, that's what I'm here for. Thank that's you. what I'm here for. Thank you. What else you got? All right. So our second big one uh, is... Uh, here are your clues. See if we can get this one, right? Okay. So basically, on any given spot on Earth, the chances that this is going to happen on average is about once every 400 years, okay? But here in North America, 2024, this year, will remarkably be the second time in less than 10 years that this occurs and can be observed. The first known recorded occurrence of this phenomenon was around 1300 BCE in present-day Syria. Any idea what we're talking about? Well, curious that, event in that, 2024. Well, there, I, the last reference you made, 1300 BCE. BC, 
could be mathematical, mm -hmm. could be astronomical. Oh. Those are things that are rather ancient. What yes. We have ancient records for. And I am going to say it's an astronomical event. I don't think yes. you're going to tell me about some math mm -hmm. wizard moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's meteor shower, not big enough, but um, uh, eclipse. There it is. Eclipse. A full solar eclipse, full which will be visible eclipse. from North America. So we had one of these in 2017. Uh, and it, it, amazingly, it's just really, really unique, the fact that we have another one happening in 2024. Now, the way this sort of works to be in a spot where you can see the full actual full solar eclipse, you've got to be on a very specific path. So the path of this particular eclipse is going to go from southwest Mexico up through the United States and out into eastern Canada. So the interesting thing here is there's a bunch of big cities where, which are on the path of totality, like uh, Dallas, Indianapolis, if you can get to Rochester, if you can get to northern Vermont or northern uh, New Hampshire, you will see the full, full eclipse, which is to say you'll see the entire sun covered. Which is pretty cool. But the most of us in Massachusetts, are we outside that belt? We are. I don't know if you remember 2017 when we had that full solar eclipse as well. And, mm -hmm. uh, and it was pretty spectacular here in Massachusetts. I was here in Massachusetts when it happened. And what we got from our angle then was about 62, 63% totality. So about 63% of the sun was covered. This time, even for us here, we're even closer to the line of totality, which means we're going to see something like 92, 93% of the sun get covered. That's which is still pretty, pretty good. Right, so this is right. this is April 8th. It's happening this year. Um, you know, I spoke with Gary Saronic, who's a consulting editor at Sky and Telescope magazine, which is based right here in Cambridge. Uh, and he said to me, he was like, listen, if you have the means, if you have the ability, get into the path of totalities. Like, it's cool that it's going to be like 92, 93 here, but he said there is, there is few things on Earth that are as indescribable and interesting as experiencing a full solar eclipse. He, he, I mean, he was like stumbling over his words with excitement. It does, it does sound pretty And it's cool. pretty yeah. close, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. Western New York, northern New right. Hampshire. If you can get there, April 8th, that's when it's happening. We'll Pray remember. for sunny skies. That, I mean, you, the, the, the danger is that it would be a cloudy day yeah. and you miss it. But, um, you know, it, pretty spectacular stuff. All right. Well, getting into the path of totality, all that great wisdom. Edgar B. Horwick III, thank you so much. And it's going to be the it is the year of the dragon. We got that going. Yeah. Us, so, so let's get that going, too. <laughs> it's going to be a curious year one way or another. I promise it you. will be. And we hope to check back with you again. Thanks for joining Absolutely. us. Absolutely.